wall supine piriformis stretch or external rotators of the hip pales rails variety all right so first it is important to find your distance from the wall that you are able to maintain anterior pelvic tilt anterior pelvic tilt means that you have a space between your lumbar spine and your uh and the floor all right once i find that space all right i'm gonna try to fold my right leg over my left foot like that my right leg over my left thigh all right the problem here is i go back into posterior pelvic tilt my low back is now touching the ground so i have to adjust i can either see if i can put myself into anterior tilt which i can't or i can back away from the wall a little bit and now i'm able to keep anterior pelvic tilt from here i'm gonna find a stretch somewhere in this area all right this tissue that i'm looking to be stretched I got to be able to maintain this stretch for two minutes. All right. It's a two minute stretch. So it should start off light at first. You should be able to breathe, relax into it. Just make sure you maintain the stretch, maintain that anterior pelvic tilt. After the two minutes, you will do your pales contraction. The pales contraction here is twofold. Number one, it's pressing the ankle of the right leg into the left thigh. And number two, it is taking your right hand and blocking the knee and pressing the knee into that right hand. All right, so we are trying to create a rotational force there, but in pales rails, nothing moves. It's just an isometric. And we will... Do that isometric, that pales contraction for about 20 seconds. After you do that pales contraction, we are going to try to externally rotate or the rails contraction, which means I'm going to try to activate the musculature of my inner thighs and try to rotate the femur so that my leg comes closer to my face like so. Without me pulling on it, I'm just using the leg muscles, all right? And trying to lift the leg off of that left leg that's keeping it there, all right? So they're just opposite contractions. The pales is pressed in, the rails is lift off, all right? And you can vary those intensities based on what's being prescribed. So I can push really hard or I can push a little lighter depends on what's being prescribed in the program. I can lift off really hard, really squeezing those inner thigh muscles, or lift off a little bit easier, depends on what's being prescribed in the program. After you do the pales rails, you go back into your passive stretch for about another 30 seconds. And that constitutes one set of pales rails.